take it for anything else. Um, I think a lot of people will see this car and say, why is that C on the badge of this SLK? You know, the nomenclature range at Mercedes-Benz has changed dramatically over the last few months, and I think people just kind of need to get their head around what it all means. Um, it does all make sense when you actually sort of investigate it. Well, it's always been a really sort of well-rounded car, you could say, the SLK before, and now the SLC. Of course, the old SLC was the big sort of S-Class coupe. So it is, it's confusing initially. I think you know, as time goes by, it's going to get more rationalised and you know, in our heads anyway. Very competent, but uh, not too much feedback in terms of very linear sort of loading up of the steering, etc., etc. As you're cornering, I do find though that they have a lot of work to do on the engine note with a four-cylinder engine. Um, I'm really looking forward to the 43 because I think that's going to sound the real business as well. If you're going to go and play a lot, then, then spend the extra money and get the 43. I'm sure that's going to be quite a, a different proposition. But if you're just a day-to-day -day guy who's driving to work, maybe just, you don't, you probably don't need it. Um, it's, it's, it's not a hardcore car, it's not designed for that, but it is a nice everyday sports car. It used to be a hairdresser's car and so on. Um, but I think with a new naming convention, I have to get your head around it. But I was really interested in this new 43 AMG. Now that's the V6 3 litres, now I've got 270 kilowatts and just over 500 newton litres. I spoke to some of the engineers, and although it's a mainstream engine, it is fettled by AMG. So it is an entry level to AMG. You have a new exterior, but for us from the AMG, it's, it's more important to, to give this car more than exterior and interior to give it in the AMG DNA uh, its driving performance. And you know, there's a V6 engine, you have the, the 9G transmission, and uh, of course the suspension are all new on the front and the rear axle, and uh, already the steering wheel, you can, it's feel like a real AMG. Maybe it's not the V8, but it's a V6, it's new for us, but we believe that's the, the right way for, for the for this class. After the 43 I, I climbed back into the 300 and you could immediately feel that this is more suited to cruising, tyres squeal around corners and so on where the 43 felt, felt really planted so I think there's a big divide between the AMG and the normal run-of-the-mill uh, SLCs. So yeah it can only get better from here. Dynamically I don't think they'll ever really compete with this chassis um, but entertaining it is. Uh, if you're in comfort mode, you can cruise along, you won't annoy the neighbors. You might actually think, is this an AMG? But when you go for Sport Plus, pops and crackles and, and those uh, amazing noises that we all love, it's there and it steers a bit from the rear. It's maybe not as sharp as some of the opposition cars, thinking Porsche Boxster and so on. But I think if you like the look, you can cruise, you can have a bit of fun. I really enjoyed myself in these mountain passes. There's some amazing switchback roads it's in the mountainside and back of me. So great, yeah. I really like the um, the styling did outside with the and also with the the grill stood out for me. They have got a new look with that. Interior wise, not that many differences. The one thing that stood out for me also was they stuck with the old drive select system. It's still a push button. They could have made it easier. The toggle between the modes. It's got a real growl and there's a big difference for me between uh, the comfort setting and the sport setting. So that's a it's a real Jekyll and Hyde feeling you get. Yeah, I'm sure the bean counters had something to do with it. Um, it's if you think about Audi, you get your S and you get your RS. This is maybe AMG Lite, if they call it. But I must say, driving it, you still get in the Sport Plus mode. I felt this morning it is a true AMG still. Yes, I'm sure that the ones, uh, the 63s or the 55s, which used to call it, will come. Uh, maybe Black Series to really up the power and so on. But for now, that's, this is the top level SLC that you can buy. And for what, I think it's, it's good.